Hey everyone, this is Gary K. Welcome to a post Infocom edition of my Rants and Raves video cast. One of the things I got to do at Infocom is take a deep dive look at Panasonic Connect's Kairos system. And I asked Chris Merrill to join me, the director of product management and engineering at Panasonic Connect. Chris, how are you doing? Doing really well. And it's great to be here with you today. I appreciate it. And um, you, I think, I feel like, I, I feel like I want to say that. Kairos is probably one of the most underrated products out there. I think it's pretty substantial. I mean, I think a lot of people think production switcher and they think television and they don't realize that there's all these applications in live events, for example, and in-house corporate uh, events where you can use a product like Kairos as an all-in-one solution. Yeah, exactly. You know, we were just off the uh, phone just a few minutes ago with um, somebody who's talking about market data and one of the largest growing segments across the whole AV industry is this, what they're calling broadcast AV, which really is all of these other kinds of, of uh, different market verticals where they're trying to do a live event and then stream that out to an audience. Yeah. So yeah, any place you've got a, a big stage with with you know people talking, some iMag or slides or whatever going on in the background, whether that's house of worship, government, a corporate kind of environment, all of those are exactly where this fits well. And esports, I would say as well. I think uh, there's an opportunity absolutely. there as well. And yeah. and I think I think uh, you know as I said, I did a deep dive at Infocom and um, took a look at sort of all the applications for this product and sort of where it fits in. And um, it's really neat. It's it's got a lot of capabilities. It's beyond a uh, production switcher. I think a lot of people think of a production switcher in one particular category. Um, but for example, you can layer video and go as far as you want based on the GPU ca uh, capability that you have. You can do a bunch of presets. It's got built-in scaler, so it's more than just a production switcher. It's it's like a it's it's like a production switcher on steroids. I don't know what what you kind of invented a new category, kind of a hybrid between. Um, a uh, production switcher and and uh, a media server, a large format yeah. media server. And, and that's exactly it. We really broke with the traditional model of a switcher where you've got MEs and keys and those kinds of things. You can do all of that, but really you're taking, because it's a software defined device, you take that internal processing block and you use it the way you want to use it. And you just continue to stack those layers up, scale them, you know, do whatever you need to in order to, to make that presentation come together. And for Anybody who's used to some sort of digital um, media creation tool, this looks very familiar. Yeah, exactly. That's so. Uh, so it, it's easy to figure out how to use. And um, what are some of the the newest features? Uh, I know that I know that one thing you did was sort of being backwardly compatible, for lack of a better term, by adding SDI. But I think there's a lot of options there where rental and staging feels a lot more comfortable with that because this is an AV over IP product at its core. Um, but so I know that you added SDI as an option, but, but tell me about some of the other features that you, you have added to the product. Sure. You're, you're referring to our L1 model that we recently announced and Yeah. So at its core, Keros really is an, an IP device. It runs its, its internal standard is 2110. Yep. Um, but it can bring in all kinds of various IP formats, compressed formats, um, as well as the SDI. HDMI. So it's it's giving you that that capability, it brings those all into what we call a canvas. And you mentioned rental and staging. And that's really one of the powerful things is inside, then you define the the uh, rectangle that you're going to put this content on. So it could be a ultra wide LED screen, it could be a portrait mode kind of display. It, it really doesn't matter to to Keros. We're just putting that, we're layering those things on top of it. And we can actually use all of those different formats at the same time. If you want to go to IP, one of the things that's um, just coming out that will be very interesting for, for those customers is something we're calling smart routing. So you are able then to take as inputs into the system any source that's on your network. So any, any video source that's there, you can bring in through those IP ports and be able to use that as a part of your your production without having to have some sort of other upstream routing. So you're basically creating a, a, a virtual matrix 
Exactly. And, uh, and allowing any source. To, so I, then are you moving into like command and control and network operation centers as well? Because I see that as an application as well for that kind of a feature. Uh, you could do it if you wanted to, because you've got all of the, the multi-viewer kind of yeah. outputs on there. Um, but normally we're still sticking with live, um, particularly mm -hmm. because it's it's uh, response time and those kinds of things. So that you're able to do um, all of the, the nice, um, you know, no delay kinds of things that you would use in iMac. Yeah, I, I guess that makes sense. But I do see I do see this fitting into a lot of different places. I mean, it's really dynamic of a product. It's not it's interesting how different the product is now since when you came out with it. Yet it's still the same core product. Um, right. You know, 4K HDR. Uh, you have that capability in there. Um, as I said, you can layer, you know, un, you know un, almost unlimited video layers inside of the product. Um, look, I want people to watch my deep dive. I've, I've put a link to that uh, in the description of this because it really went through the product really well at Infocom. And it was very popular. Like, it was the most popular thing in your booth, I, I would venture to yeah. say. It, it had a lot of the whole time, yeah. And so it's worth taking a look at that product. And I, I see this product going a long way. So even if you're not in live events, if there's probably someone in your company who is doing live events or is part of live events and or and or you're selling to in-house corporate production kind of applications, as you say, uh, you know, as you said, uh, broadcast AV, I think it's an interesting, interesting term. Check it out. It's called Cairo. So uh, I've linked it in the description of this, but spelled K-A-I-R-O-S. So if you just Google that and you put Panasonic Connect or Panasonic in there, you'll find it. Um, but, uh, uh, Chris, I really appreciate it. Anything else I missed? Did I miss anything on this? I think maybe just one other thing to, to throw out there. One of the challenges a lot of people are having is finding people who are qualified to run what's called a production switcher. Yeah. Good point. What we're finding is that, that where that used to be one or two experts in a, in a, in an organization. Now we're opening that up so that the whole media staff can be able to, to participate. It's, it's a lot simpler to run and operate and still create that professional quality kind of uh, That's a good point because the user interface is really simple here and it just, it's barely any training. Um, so you're right. I mean, it can be run by anyone. All right. Well, check it out at, uh, you know, it's Panasonic connect.com. Of course, uh, we're, I've linked everything in the uh, description here and Chris, thank you very much for joining me. It's a pleasure. Thanks everyone for watching. All of our Infocom coverage is wrapped up in one place at raypubs.com slash Infocom, which includes over 1700 videos. Rain, rain, rain. With rain, rain.